In physics, the gale mano kubo mass formula provides a sum rule for the masses of hadrons within a specific multiplet, determined by their isospin and strangeness where A0, A1, and A2 are free parameters. The rule was first formulated by Murray Gell-Mann in 1961 and independently proposed by Susumu Okubo in 1962. Isospin and hypercharge are generated by SU, which can be represented by eight Hermitian and traceless matrices corresponding to the components of isospin and hypercharge. Six of the matrices correspond to flavor change, and the final two correspond to the third component of isospin projection and hypercharge theory. The mass formula was obtained by considering the representations of the Lie algebra SU. In particular, the meson octet corresponds to the root system of the adjoint representation. However, the simplest, lowest dimensional representation of SU is the fundamental representation, which is three-dimensional, and is now understood to describe the approximate flavor symmetry of the three quarks U, D, and S. Thus, the discovery of not only in SU symmetry, but also of this workable formula for the mass spectrum was one of the earliest indicators for the existence of quarks. This formula is phenomenological, describing an approximate relation between meson and baryon masses, and may be superseded as theoretical work in quantum chromodynamics advances. Baryons Using the values of relevant ions for baryons, the Gell-Mano-Kubo formula can be rewritten for the baryon octet, where n, lambda, sigma, and she represent the average mass of corresponding baryons. Using the current mass of baryons, this yields, and meaning that the gell mano kubo formula reproduces the mass of octet baryons within tilde 0.5% of measured values. For the baryon decouplet, the gell mano kubo formula can be rewritten as the equal spacing rule where delta, sigma asterisk, she asterisk, and omega represent the average mass of corresponding baryons. The baryon decouplet formula famously allowed Gell-Mann to predict the mass of the then undiscovered omega minus mesons. The same mass relation can be found for the meson octet using the current mass of mesons. This yields and because of this large discrepancy, several people attempted to find a way to understand the failure of the GMO formula in mesons when it worked so well in baryons. In particular, people noticed that using the square of the average masses yielded much better results. This now yields and which fall within 5% of each other. For a while, the GMO formula involving the square of masses was simply an empirical relationship, but later a justification for using the square of masses was found.